Hello everybody, this is Nathan, and today I'm going to be showing you how to install I Atcos L2 in VirtualBox in Windows. So, first of all, you're going to download this program called VirtualBox from um, this company called Oracle, which I believe is responsible for Java. I don't know. But anyway, you're going to do download this program, and once you get it installed on your computer, you're going to get the screen. Okay? You're not there yet, though. So what you're going to do is you're going to hit new, you're going to get the new virtual machine wizard. So you hit next, now name this virtual machine whatever you want, so I'm just going to name mine Mac 10 2, and as you can see it automatically detects it as server, just leave it the way it is. So hit next, you're going to want to bump the memory up to 2048 megs, so like this. So you hit next, you're going to want to create a new startup disk, and you're going to want to do VDI, dynamically allocated. Now for the hard disk you can, it has to be over 20 gigs, so you can go ahead and, I'm just going to go ahead and do 84.33, I don't really care. So you hit create, and then you hit create again. And here it is. But we're not ready to run it yet. First, we're going to have to hit settings. And I'm going to go to advanced. Oh, wait. Never mind. And go to system. Make sure this is 2048 megs. I want to uncheck this box. Maybe you do need it unchecked. You go to processor, and you're going to want to you can bump that up to two to make it go a little faster. And make sure these two boxes are checked under acceleration. Now we'll go to display. You're going to want video memory set at 128 megs 128 megs you want the monitor count at 1 and you want to go ahead and enable 3D video acceleration now we'll move on to storage now where it says empty you're going to click on it and click this little disk thing now in the directory that you have the iatcos thing which is in my hold folder you're going to click on it and um now it's in there. Now we're going to go to audio. Make sure that's enabled. You don't want to set the network to NAT. So now you're going to want to click OK. And now it's saved. The settings that we set together. So now you're going to want to click start. And if you want, you can go ahead and put it in scale mode so it looks really more, a little bit more realistic. Now you're going to want to make wait for this bar to tip down. But don't leave yet. There's more coming up. While it's booting, it takes a while to boot off the CD, so I'm just going to stop the video while booting. Alright, once you're done booting, you're going to get this screen with all these languages saying, Welcome to Roman Bye. You want to hit your language, and then you're going to press this little arrow thing. For this menu bar up here to come up, and now you're going to hit utilities. Now you're going to hit disk utility. And this is mandatory, so, but so is everything else I've shown you so far. So now you're going to click on the hard drive. You're going to label what you want, so I'm just going to put down that plus 10. And erase. And erase. Goes ahead, writes out the partition cable. And now you can close out of disk utility. So the installer will come back up. You're going to hit continue. And then you're going to accept the agreement, of course. Now you're going to hit our hard disk, but instead of clicking install, we're going to hit customize. So go ahead and do that. Make sure your bootloader is chainlin 2.1. Make sure that you have these boot options set the way I had them. These patches are good. Now you're going to go to drivers, you're going to go to main hardware. Now you want SATA IDE checked, go under sound, and then click Voodoo HDA. You can collapse it if you want. Go to USB, only check USB, don't check USB 3.0. Go to hardware sensors, scroll down, go to hardware sensors and click that. 
Now you're going to want to check PS2. And I'll go under VGA. Or actually, you don't need to do VGA. Now if you want to get on the internet in your virtual machine, you're going to want to um, collapse network. Or uncollapse it, sorry. And then you're going to want to hit acquire like this. You want to make sure that all these options are checked. Like I have them. Like I showed you. So now you're going to click OK. Now you're going to hit install. And this usually takes about 20 minutes to complete, so until it completes, I'll stop the video. Alright, once the installation is complete, you're going to get this dialog telling it restart. So just press restart. However, you will get a kernel panic. So, what do you do at this point? Well, on your keyboard, you're going to want to hit the control key all the way to the right, hold that down, and then press R. You're going to get a dialog like this. Do you really want to reset? And you're going to click reset. I'm going to get this music, but for some reason, it's not showing anything on the screen. So we're just going to go ahead and reset. So now, I want to press F8 this time. If the CD is still in drive and it's plenty of CDR, use your arrow key to go to the right and type in dash B. And remember I told you earlier stuff was going on behind that screen? Well, this is kind of what's going on. Which, by the way, I'm going to eject that drive now. I'm going to eject that CD. There we go. So now I'm going to go back to the scale mode. And the reason why we typed dash V was so we could it to boot into verbose mode. Which will basically show you whatever is going on behind that Apple loading screen. So if there's any errors, you'll see them. Instead of just appearing to freeze. So we're waiting on this thing to do its stuff. Um, now, in a moment here, we should get... Here we go. Now it's loaded. And let's see. I'm getting a white screen for some reason. I'll just wait on that. There we go. And now it's gonna ask you for your country, so you can go ahead and put that in. Put your keyboard layout. And you'll wanna hit don't transfer now. And you can enter your Apple ID if you really want to. And you can also enter your registration information, but I'm going to pass it off. I don't want to send my personal information, so I'm going to hit continue. Now, when you want to create your account, you're going to hit, you're going to type in what your name is. Make yourself an, an account name. Make a password. Verify it. Then you're going to hit continue. Oh, I'm not putting in a password hit. Oh, okay. I got it. You just have to read it. So you enter your password, and then you press continue. Oh, apparently I didn't match them. So it creates your account. And 
Hang on, wait for it to do its thing. Now it's connecting with Apple. Now with your time zone, I live in Boston, so I'm going to want to put that Boston. Alright, now you're going to want to type in your password if you have one. If you set one up. Click that arrow. Oh, what happened? Turn the text loading is now disabled. Text downloading. I'm going to reset because I don't know what's up with that. Just gonna go ahead and do it. Just enter it normally. Boot into OS 10, you're gonna wanna go into Robose. Because if not, it just freezes for some reason. So you go ahead and wait on this thing too. And. the white screen again. Type in your pass. Oh, and would you look at that, you've got macOS 10 on your PC. So, that's about it for this video.